what's up beautiful people listening Arma, welcome to the channel so today we have this very interesting video and it's titled marrying candace owens with george farmer so this is um her husband uh, candace owens husband speaking i think this is in an interview or in a podcast so yeah i'm excited to check this one out to hear what it's got to say let's check it out yeah so when did you move to america moved over in 2019 um in full marriage yeah pretty much when i met when i'm so candace and i met in december of 2018 and we got engaged very quickly after 17 days um and uh <laughs> thursday just looked up what <laughs> yeah when you i mean just it was one of those things i mean it was a it was very much a god thing um the lord was in control of that whole process mm. and um I mean, it was quite a funny, the full story is quite interesting. I mean, the full story was she, she actually came to London to do an event um, oh. with the organization she was with at the time, which was called Turning Point. And um, even the build up to that story is quite funny. So she, she basically, Charlie Kirk, who runs Turning Point and Candace were kind of doing a speaking tour of the US. And um, UK? Mean, no, this was this was still when they were in the US, okay. right? And um, she said to him one day, she was like, I, I feel that we should go and do, an, do some events in, in England. We should go and do some events in London. Ooh. And Charlie sort of was like, okay, well, you know, we'd sort of, they'd sort of been thinking about doing something or a sister organization in the UK. And so she then became very belligerent about it. And she, when she looks back on it now, she says I had no idea why I was so belligerent about going to the UK um, mm. but there was this kind of great calling that she felt that we needed to go and do this event in London we, we should get the Turning Point UK chapter on the map etc cetera, etc cetera. and so she, Charlie got in touch well she got in touch actually with some people in the UK and sort of said hey heads up we're coming over in December of 2018 and um, that info was relayed to me I was quite involved in British politics at the time um, wow. So it kind of made sense. I'd heard of her organization. Her organization is called Blexit, and which is the black exit from progressive policies. And you know, I, I was very involved in Brexit, so you know, <laughs> it was kind of like a synergy there. Mm -hmm. And she came over, and um, she did this. We did this event. They did an event at the Royal Automobile Club in London in 2018, which was. Um, for about 300 I would say three to 400 people and I was in the audience and I just something about her demeanor just kind of instantly struck me and it was it was very unusual I remember messaging a friend of mine you know a couple of days afterwards just being like there's something different about this girl there's something different about had you met her yet or just seen her from we, stage? we'd shaken hands and that mm -hmm. was it um, and then the next night I organized this dinner for a whole group of people so it was her and Charlie as well and and they actually turned up three hours late because they were doing a a podcast in the countryside and so when they came back into town it was kind of like three hour late but we sort of got to know each other a little bit better and then the next week I flew over to the states to see her speaking at a conference in Florida um, and nothing had been said like there'd be no there had been no romantic overtures at all uh, at any of mm. these at any of this point um, it had all just been very kind of above board and talking about politics and engaging in kind of philosophical conversations. Mm. And then at the end of December, we started, I, I started, I called her a couple of times just to kind of chat. And again, you know, just had these long, like prolonged conversations, which were mainly about politics and trying to understand what she wanted to do in life. And at the end of December, um, I was actually flying to South Africa at the time for New Year's and I called her and I just said listen I know this is completely crazy and we've just met but uh, how do you feel about getting married to me? Just real quick <laughs> wow. I missed the bit where there was any sort of there was literally nothing nothing romantic had been said up to this point okay I mean literally nothing so, we okay, gone, so I missed nothing we, we oh hadn't gone on a my date God. we had not talked about marriage or the future or anything like that <clears throat> alright and I just I could, and she said yes. No. Yeah. Come on. She did. That didn't happen. Yeah, she. <laughs> You're making it up. Oh my god. It's all fiction. Um, fake news. Uh, no, it was. It was. This guy is not even Candace Owens' husband. <laughs> I thought it was weird that he would refuse to go to Paris. <laughs> Who is he? 
Uh, what a strange thing. Some random thing. guy that just pulled off the street in Steubenville. <laughs> That's right. You just, you just you called her up and yeah. said, how would you feel about getting married? Yeah. Were you nervous? Were you serious? I was, or were you partly no, expecting... Was this a pickup line? No, I mean... And <laughs> no, I was 100% serious. I mean, I, uh, you know, I, I felt that... There's a little bit of a, a story there also in relation to, like, the hand of God in all of this, mm. which is that, um, you know, when I was first... Up to this point, I had been kind of, I would say, dormant in my faith um, mm. and not really living, you know, a godly life, not really living a life which was, you know, meritous of being worthy, being called a Christian life, really. And but I had been praying this prayer because I've been saying to the Lord, like, please, can you show me the path before my feet? You know, what is this path that you what is the path of my life? Where do you want me to end up? What do you want me to do? And... Um, in the aftermath of first meeting her, about a week later, I had this long car ride, uh, this long car journey where I was driving down to Devon, which is a county in England, which is about three and a half hours outside of London. And I remember having this very powerful, vivid emotion, mm. kind of overwhelming sense of God speaking to yeah. me, saying, you were praying this, you were asking for this, so here is here is the you path there are mm. now two paths before your feet there's the path that you've walked currently which is you know in many ways i would say like a a life not lived for him right it was a life lived for me um and then there's a second path which i'm putting in front of you which is a life which you don't necessarily know the outcome of yet you don't know where this path is going to lead but this is the path that i'm putting before your feet and it's now up to you to choose it mm. um and that car ride that I had, you know, kind of was formative in some ways because um, I just really I felt this overwhelming sense of I have to act. This is this is it. This is this is that cringeworthy moment that they talk about in the, in in all films where it's like you the have crossroads. to you have to choose the the right path for you, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, and so it was that kind of moment, and I realized that God was speaking to me and and. And so I called actually my dad at the time and I, and I said to him, I said, I know this is crazy because next weekend is Christmas, but I'm going to fly to America tomorrow and uh, go and spend some time at this conference where she was speaking at. I'm, I'm getting mixed up on the wow. timeline. It was it after this car ride where you felt God speak to you that you then called her? So we met on December 11th. Um, we had dinner on December 12th. It was about a week later on December 18th that I had the, the car ride, right. the car journey. Um, the next day I flew to the US. That was when we spent three days together just getting to know each other. Then I flew back, back to England for Christmas, gotcha. spent Christmas with my family. And then the week after Christmas was the week that I called her a couple of times, started to get to know her. You know, we, I said, hey, do you want to FaceTime? It was like, I was expecting like a 10 minute FaceTime. We ended up FaceTiming for like three and a half hours. Wow. Um, and then on December 29th, I asked her to marry me. Wow. So that was oh the kind of... Oh, my God. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, everyone thought I was mad. Everyone thought we were both mad. You know, I mean, it was just nuts. <laughs> like, my parents were kind of like, what is this? You know, are you being serious kind of thing? And, um, you know, one of my sisters was... She, she actually just laughed about the whole thing. She was just like, this is, this is so not you, but it's also very you. You know, mm. and so she kind of she came out with that line which I thought was quite a funny way of putting it um, and then you know a lot of my friends kind of didn't believe it or they sort of thought that I was trying to hoist something on them and then they kind of realized that I was being serious and then a lot of them got on board um, and then kind of we didn't we didn't just sort of announce it to the world because it was it was too it was kind of too much for a lot of people to process they just thought that it was like a joke and um, so we kind of held back announcing it and I think we've finally actually put something out about it kind of in February or something like that. Mm. Um, but that was the kind of timeline that we went through. How long were you engaged for until you married? Eight months. Eight months. Yeah, we got married That's in August man. of the following year, 2019. August when? Yeah, wow. August, the, August the 6th. Yeah, don't mess that up. Yeah. Yeah, August yeah. 12th for me, yeah. that's why I asked. Oh, really? Yeah, 2006. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah. I had the pleasure of meeting your bride yesterday. Yeah. What an unbelievable cool, woman. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh my God, I was just smiling through because it was, it's a beautiful moment. I mean, this is, this is 
is wild. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. But sometimes it's um, but let me just say that um if you're Christian, sometimes it's good to pray and just talk to God um to give you a clearer picture and to give you a, um, a clearer path because um, before sh checking this video i, I was just um, uh, subconsciously just praying to god and i just said um god should show me the clearer path to my dreams and to my future because um, i'm embarking on a certain project and i wanted god's direction so i don't um miss the opportunity when um, um the project or the bigger picture comes to, uh, comes to me okay so i know the right moment to um go ahead or to proceed with the project and checking this it just makes a lot of sense wow i know it is possible but i'm like this sounds like a movie but again with god nothing is impossible and i believe it too I, be, I believe it because um i mean if the feelings are mutual and you're both on the same table and you're both feeling the exact same feeling and the emotions why not i don't see any reason why um it shouldn't happen but this is amazingly beautiful and it's beautiful to see but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below um how long did it take you to get engaged um what, what was the moment you uh, met your partner and you realize that this is the one and this is the right person for you and this is the person you want to spend um you, the rest of your life with or this is the person you see your future with i mean it's different from for different people people like sometimes they take um it, it takes um, um loss of break up and everything for them to realize that this is the right person and some people it just an instant click and some people it takes other come from people to confirm and everything so i really love to hear if, hear from you if you're a man when was the moment you realized that um your partner was the right partner and you proposed and uh if you're the you're the woman when was the right time for you to realize that this is the right partner for you and you accepted the proposal or vice versa i really love to hear your thoughts because um i mean it's different for different people like, well i would really love to hear your beautiful story in the comment down below you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video